if you're the cynical sort, you might find yourself wondering just why live video has taken off in the way that it has. What's all the fuss about? Isn't it just another fad that's likely to die a death in no time at all? Isn't it just all marketing hype? Well, actually, the reality of live video is quite a lot more impressive than even the hype would have you believe. Right now, different companies are clamouring to become the home of live video streaming, and there's a very good reason for that. It could very well change the world. Imagine if live video caught on to such a degree that everyone started using it. Imagine if, at any time, millions of people around the world were using their live video to share events. Imagine how this could change our understanding of the world. For example, if there was a natural disaster, you know, forget news coverage, suddenly the very best and most powerful way to learn about the disaster would be to tune in to all of the live footage being broadcast from friends, family, celebrities and strangers. It would be like a virtual omnipresence, being able to see an event from countless different angles all at once. And once this happens, imagine how many more people will start using live video. Live video essentially transports you to a place and time, and it could change the way we consume news and media, the way we attend live events and more. And when this integrates with other future technologies, such as virtual reality and 360-degree cameras, we can really expect to start to transport ourselves to wherever our friends are and to experience events as though we were there. And from a marketing standpoint, being able to talk directly to your fans is unprecedented. Think of your favourite celebrity. Think about someone you really admire. Now imagine if you knew they were going live and you could actually comment to them directly. Yep, they might even answer. This is what you have the capability now to do, and your own fans will feel just as excited when you go live. While stories might not have the same potential, these two have the ability to potentially alter the way we interact with our fans, to let us bring them with us on our travels and to grow the trust in that relationship. This is crucial when it comes to selling. Someone is going to be much more likely to want to buy from you once they feel as though they know you and when they've seen just how your ideas and services have helped you in your own life and once they've seen you playing with your dog or celebrating Christmas with your family. The first challenge when it comes to creating great stories is to know which of your videos and photos are going to lend themselves best to your stories versus your main Instagram grid. Largely, the difference is whether you think of the photo as being quintessential to your brand and a great photo, or whether you think of it more as an aside, you know, a little joke for the fans or a demonstration of something you've explained. Likewise, more immediate things work very well in your stories, you know, such as events. So let's say you have a fitness channel and you're at a bodybuilding competition chatting with people on stalls and meeting fans. Photos of the actual show will look great on your channel as these demonstrate what your brand is about and can be made to look dramatic and spectacular. A photo of you with the fans though, or of you getting a soft drink from one of the stalls, will work much better in your stories. Meanwhile, video clips will work particularly well for the live video as they will give your audience a chance to attend along with you. Always be sure to check copyright though before you go ahead and stream or you can risk getting yourself into trouble. If your brand does have a personal component, then as a rule, things that are your personal brand will work best for live or stories, whereas things that fit your corporate brand will work best on your grid as permanent additions. Ask yourself, would you be happy for a photo to be a fan's first impression of your brand? If not, then it will work better as a story. The same goes for video, in which case you could share it live. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.